Good morning and welcome to Rich Thoughts for Breakfast. I'm Harold Herring and that's my fine white best. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles at you. Hallelujah. <laughs> I can't see me seeing it like Jimmy Durante or even Louis Armstrong, um, but that's a great lyric. It is Waitley, the motivational speaker and author once said, a smile is the light in your window that tells others as a caring, sharing person inside. Well said. Here are seven ways to be smiled at while making of a smile, which is also seven ways to brighten your day, not just this Sunday, but every day. And it brightens everybody else's day as well. Amen. Number one, good morning, Lord. First Thessalonians 5, 5 and 6 in the classic Amplified Bible. For you're all sons of light and the sons of the day. We, need, we do not belong either to the night or to the darkness. Accordingly, then, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us keep wide awake, alert, watchful, cautious, and on guard. And let us be sober, calm, collected, and circumspect. When you wake up, we've said this so many times, when you wake up, say, good morning, Lord. Instead of good Lord, it's morning. How we awaken in the morning will determine in large measure the kind of day we're going to have. Here are four powerful keys for us to practice. First, learn how to wake up in the morning. Romans 13, 11. Romans 13, 11, a classic Amplified. Besides this, you know what a critical hour this is. How it is high time now for you to wake up out of your sleep, rouse to reality, for salvation, final deliverance is nearest to, is nearer to us now than when we first believed, adhered to, trust in, and relied on Christ the Messiah. If you use an alarm clock, set it so you awaken by music playing on your favorite radio station or CD. Wake up with a song in your heart in expectation for the miracles the day will bring. Second, set an alarm to awaken at the same time every day. When you, uh, you can't always regulate when you go to bed, but you can regulate when you get up in the morning, and at least that will be on a regular basis. Third, Spend quality time with him first. Proverbs 8, 17, 8, 17. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early, find me. Psalm 5, 3, 5, 3, New International Version. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you. Wait in expectation. And fourth, feed your mind as you get ready for or drive to work. You know, we lay out our clothes. It's just as important to lay out the CDs or the teachings of what we're going to listen to. Maybe it's on our smartphone or or whatever else, but don't settle for just whatever happens to be airing on your commute to work. It needs to be a conscious decision on your part. And number two, daily confessions. Mark 11, 22 through 24 Mark 11, 22 through 24 in God's Word translation says, Jesus said to them, have faith in God. I can guarantee this truth. This is what will be done for someone who doesn't doubt but believes what he says will happen. He can say to this mountain, be uprooted and thrown into the sea, and it will be done for him. That's why I tell you to have faith that you have already received whatever you pray for and it will be yours. Wow. Confessions of God's word can take, contain yoke-destroying, bondage-breaking, mountain-moving, faith-building, world-changing, destiny-shaping power. And if we can get it down in our hearts and our minds that that's happening, we will succeed. Create your own confession based on what you need to manifest in your life. The confession that we're about to share will ignite, you know, your morning and make the hordes of hell really crumble. <laughs> and it says, Father, I thank you that I was created in your image. 
and after your likeness. I praise you that I'm a joint heir with Christ. That the same resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead, hallelujah, is flowing through me. I rejoice that I have the mind of Christ and that you will never leave me nor forsake me. I praise you that this is going to be a great day as the irresistible charm of Jesus flows through me. Hallelujah and amen. And there is there's a, a ton of scripture in that. But you find what really works for you and what speaks to your heart and create your own confession because that's a great way to start a day. Absolutely. Number three, God smiles on us so we can smile on the others. Amen. If a smile can brighten a person's day, just think what a smile from God can do. Job 29, 24. Job 29, 24. New Living Translation. When they were discouraged, I smiled, and that encouraged them and lightened their spirits. Wisdom does more than make you wiser, smarter, more understanding. It also makes you smile. Ecclesiastes 8.1, 8.1, Contemporary English Version. Who is smart enough to explain everything? Wisdom makes you cheerful and gives you a smile. And know this. A smile can turn defeat into victory. Job 8.21, 8.21, contemporary English version. And so he will make you happy and give you something to smile about. A little humor. I heard someone say years ago, if you have trouble smiling at people you don't know, just pretend that your underwear is tickling you. <laughs> My wife's shaking her head at me, but I heard it. <clears throat> All right. Or find something else that... Will amuse you. That's it. Number four, make somebody somebody else's day. Smiling at people you don't know will often make their day. Yes, but what if they don't smile back? Well, first, that doesn't have anything to do with you. That's their problem, not yours. And second, you sowed a smile, and therefore you're going to re- receive a harvest of smiles. And third, recognize there are people who never have anyone smile at them or ever see something as positive and as simple as good morning or have a blessed day. Yes, but what if they frown and say, what's so great about today? Then shout because you've just been given the opportunity to witness to someone who really, really needs Jesus. About how you woke up, Jesus woke you up this morning and clothed you in your right mind and whatever the other testimony that the Lord might bring to your spirit. But whatever you feel led to say, ask the Holy Spirit to help you make it brief but thought-provoking. Someone once said, let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. There's truth in that. It is. Number five, sow your smiles. Sow your smile. Galatians 6, 7, classic amplified. Do not be deceived, deluded, and misled. God will not allow himself to be sneered at, scorned, disdained, or mocked by mere pretensions or professions, or by his precepts being set aside. He inevitably deludes himself who attempts to delude God. For whatever a man sows, that and that only is what he'll reap. Whatever you sow, that and only that is what you'll reap. I've had people ask me with years why I'm always so happy. Simple. I sow happiness. I wave at people I don't even know. Talked about it the other morning. I learned it from my dad. I smile at and speak to every person I meet. When you sow smiles, you'll reap smiles. It's just that simple. (laughs) And sowing happiness, too. Yep. Number six, look for the rainbow during every storm. When you're facing adversity and it all comes, When we're trying to overcome the storms of life, smile and look for that rainbow. In Genesis 9, 12 through 13, Genesis 9, 12 through 13, this in the classic Amplified Bible, the Lord made us a promise. Said, and God said, this is the token of the covenant, the solemn pledge, which I am making between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all generations. I set my bow, rainbow, in the cloud. And it shall be a token or sign of a covenant or solemn pledge between me and the earth. Can you imagine what that rainbow brought to Noah's face? 
probably a huge smile. On a number of occasions while living in Texas, we witnessed double rainbows after storms. And we discovered that no matter how intense a storm, you can't help but smile when you see a beautiful rainbow, particularly a double rainbow. In Ezekiel 1 28, Ezekiel 1 verse 28 in the classic amplified, it says, like the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud on the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face and I heard a voice of one speaking. Talk about putting a smile on your face. Nothing does it better than hearing from the Lord. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Number seven, accomplishing your daily goals. William Hazlitt the foremost art critic of the 8th, 18th, and 19th century, once said, a gentle word, a kind look, a good-natured smile can work wonders and accomplish miracles. When we tack, tackle the seeming impossible, clearly defined goals and timelines, may it'll help us make what seemed hopeless a reality. Nick Saban, coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide football team, said, when you invest your time, you make a goal, and the decision is something you want to accomplish. Whether it's to make good grades in school, be a good athlete, be a good person, go down and do some community service, and help somebody who's in need. Whatever it is, whatever it is you choose to do, you're investing your time in that. We should invest wisely. We should. We strongly encourage you to end each day or writing out how God blessed you the previous 24 hours. As you begin to list, you'll feel an inevitable smile creeping across your face. And it may seem difficult at first when you start doing that, but as you do it every night, it'll become much more, it's something much easier. And it's something you'll look forward to. One last thought. Each time someone says your name, God smiles. Mm -hmm. Think he about that. You. Think about that. Wow. Tonight... 6 p.m. Eastern, That's Sunday right. night live. is going to make you shout. Mm. Maybe even jump up and run around the room. Ah. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's the kind we like. Yeah, you go to heraldherring.com, click the button. It says join Harold and Bev Sunday night. And by the way, we would love speaking that. of the website, if yeah. you've been blessed by the teaching and by the ministry, go to heraldherring.com, click the button. It says sow a seed. Just do what God says to do. Well, till tonight at 6 p.m. and again tomorrow morning at 8.30. God bless you. Happy trails. And keep thinking rich thoughts. We love you. We appreciate you. God bless you. Bye-bye.